So we're going to open to the breakfast buffet. So we've got a coffee machine over here. We've got some traditional foods here. More traditional foods. Omelette station. There's pancakes and waffles. Um, there's some more traditional foods here. There's an egg station. So you can have your eggs whatever way you like. And also you can have omelettes. And then you have cooked breakfast. Um, you've got the chicken sausages and beef bacon for obvious reasons. Then there's a fruit tart. Pastry. And amazing dates muffins, they look delicious. Banana bread, maple cake, fresh plain croissant. Some of those muffins and more Danish. Next up we have the selection of cheeses. To, to disturb too many people. We've got some more continental breakfast. Some creamy yogurt cheese, yummy. Who doesn't want some onions and some parsley? Some deep fried chickpeas. Oh, very traditional. You've got loads of traditional items here and some continental cooked meat. So we've got mixed um, fruit salad here, some traditional dates, and um, this looks as a yuck, it's in a syrup, and then we've got some bananas. And if we come over here, you can help yourself to filtered coffee, and we've also got the yogurts here and some more cereal available and finally just over here we've got a selection of juices so we've got orange mango apple and still water you can see it's absolutely huge and it's actually quiet now but it was incredibly busy when i first came in This is the lunchtime menu. So we have a bit of mix here. We've got some ice cream, some dessert, and then chicken nuggets and pasta. Over here, we've got all of the desserts available, which look really delicious, and they actually do taste nice. There's um, some tea available, some more dessert for the compost. Again, seems a bit odd putting it here. You think it would be with the ice cream? And we've got some more salad down here. Just go to here. We've got some traditional cheeses, and around the other side, they have the ability to make rolls and you can make tasted sandwiches and here are all the fillings. So this seems to be the vegetarian corner. So we've got some steamed pie, some chickpea curry, the pesto pasta is lovely. There's some chicken and the biryani rice which is delicious. And just around here, you've got some more hot dishes. So you've got some more rice here, a few bread and and potatoes. Next up, we've got some grilled fish. Oh, sorry. I don't know what you did to anybody. And there's some soups available as well. And randomly some samosas. And then finally, just down here, we have the fresh 
pizza cooked by the lovely chef. <laughs> Okay, so this is the chaos that is dinner. Um, so you've got the vegetarian items here, and you can see it's busier than the market, to be honest. Um, so that's the queue for the chicken, and it's Arabic night time. So we've got all the salads over here, very similar to lunch, to be honest. Uh, the cheese sections and some more hot food over here so there's always plenty of rises and yeah um, there's also the, the pasta station down in here but nobody seems to be going to the pasta station after doing pizza so you put some pizza there so here we've got all of the different desserts um, so again, very similar to lunch. Um, the desserts actually taste really nice. I think sometimes you look at desserts and you think, oh, they look really good, but they don't actually taste good. They do taste good. And um, we've got some, some dates, some traditional Arabic dishes, and the same desserts you have around. Hi. So I wanted to actually share with you um, something about the a la carte restaurant. So where I'm on just the brown band, I've only been able to go to the buffet and if I wanted to book into any of the four a la carte restaurants, I had to pay for it. Well last night I decided to treat myself and book into men. So that's the kind of Turkish Arabic restaurant. Um, on the brown band, I got 60 dirham towards my food. So um, I had to pay the difference, but I swear to God, it was one of the best meals I've had. Um, the food was fantastic, the service was brilliant, everybody was really nice to me, and yeah, it's it's a complete game changer to me. Um, had I known how different the a la carte restaurants would be, I think I would have upgraded um, to the be inclusive. So that would have been really nice to have been able to eat all of my meals, evening meals, in the a la carte restaurants. So that's just one thought for you. Um, if you think the, the buffet is too chaotic, then definitely try some of the a la carte restaurants. You might have to pay for them, but it will be totally worth it. Thank you.